All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory, go see Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, or Kakarash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and blessings to you fellow Akim out there, out, out there pushing out this word in truth, sincerity. Your brother Khanak once again coming back at you with, with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yah, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, or Kakarash. Shalom to all the believers, the hopeful elect. And, uh, you know, really quickly, I want to go into this scripture, okay, uh, Micah 2 and 10. And uh, pretty much this lesson is just in, inspired, just, uh, uh, you know, just watching the state of the, the world, the state of the earth, the state of the people. Okay, each individual fight that we're battling through. OK, and uh, we, we understand that, you know, America, the, the world, the powers to be, you know, they're they're pretty much, you know, they're out, they're they're pretty much out of there. OK, Esau, Edom, he's pretty much out of there. The prophecies are coming to pass. And it will be, you know, it will be idiotic. OK, to to think that you will be able to. You know, grow a future. In this current society, not just here in Babylon, but anywhere you you Israelites go. All right. Whether you go to, uh, you know, the islands, if you if you go to Europe, because you oh the, the white people over there in Europe, they're not as racist. Well, this whole earth is polluted. OK, with the philosophies of wickedness. OK, the philosophy of the uh, of the, 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 the what's it called? The, the wicked. I wanted the serpent. That's the word I was looking for. The serpent, the, the philosophies of the serpent. Uh, Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Okay, this is speaking to you Israelites. This is not our rest here in Babylon or wherever you take, you know, uh, wherever you take yourself. Okay, you can go to China. You're going to still be discriminated against. Furthermore, the earth is totally polluted. Because it is polluted. That's right. This world is polluted. The people's minds are polluted. Nobody knows who they are. Okay. You already have a negative stigma placed upon you. And furthermore, the curses are placed upon us by Yah Bashma Shai. And the only way for those curses to depart from us would uh, for us to spiritually depart from Babylon and great, even though we're physically still here. And through that spiritual department, OK, that is going to be uh, the, the kingdom of heaven is going to be ushered in. OK, through Yahweh Shai, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And you see our people are destroyed. Our people are dead. OK, they're in it. They're in a dead state. OK, the valley of the dry bones. Our people are dry. They're sucked up. They don't know anything. They don't know what's going on. They have no idea. They have no clue. Even though we tell them, OK, who they are, uh, where they come from, uh, who their power is. OK, they, uh, you know, as the scriptures say, you know, you know, a couple of scriptures hitting me. As the scriptures say, they have been blinded by the God of this world. And I'm going to bring that up. So as Israelites you know, waking up to the fact that we're Israelites. OK, we were Gentiles and and uh, we, we were Gentiles or Israelites in a Gentile state of mind. OK, what you have a lot of these other. Uh, you know, I'll say vocab Malone and, and that group. You know, they're trying to disprove us uh, for from being Israelites. OK, which is not going to work because victory was already given to the elect. OK, we just have to play it out. We're the hopeful that like we just have to play out the role. This is second Corinthians four and three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. OK, so there's really no reason. OK, of waking, trying to wake Jacob, which we have a, a responsibility to. Preach the word, OK, which the word preach also means to prophesy. We have the a responsibility to preach the word, preach the, preach the gospel, which the gospel is the good news. OK, 
Okay, the, the, we have we have never heard any any good news. Okay, since being here in Babylon. Okay, everything's been a lie. Everything's been false. Okay, you have these uh you know vocab Malone. He wants us to he wants us to be uh, in a dead state. Okay, we speak about you know the, the the Israelites rising out of the the low state, the state of dust, confusion. And what do they want to do? They want to kill us. They want to put they want to put us to sleep. Okay, we're speaking the the good news to our people. Okay, who we are. We're we're actually the chosen people of the Yahweh the, the 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 God, the Almighty. Okay. We haven't been told that. We have been told that we are Gentiles. We have been told that, you know, God is white. Okay. That we're animals. We're monkeys. Okay. We have been told nothing but negative and derogatory uh, things. Okay. We have been the poor of the earth. Every, every nation that's, that's really under us have looked down upon us. So here it is. We're speaking good news to our people saying we have a glorious kingdom waiting for us and, and people they despise that even two thirds of our people. They despise that. Verse four, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. OK, so those who can't believe or those who don't believe is because the God of this world. OK, which that's Satan. Satan has literally blinded two thirds of our people's minds. OK, as well as the whole world to the fact that. You know, we are the Israelites. OK, we we are actually from the Middle East. OK, from the land of Israel. Who Who's in the land of Israel right now? Heathens. OK, starting with Amalek. OK, the, the head tribe of the nation of Edom, the most wickedest people on the planet Earth. OK, and, you know, the things that they are doing is, is, is only going to come out more and more as we get closer to the end, which we're right around the corner. OK, it says in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not least the light of the glorious gospel. See what we speak. OK, let me re let me finish this. At uh, least the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach. OK, it says Christ. But we know really that word is uh, Messiah. Or anointed. OK, in Hebrew, Mashiach. OK, the anointed. This is a glorious gospel because because the things that we're going to receive is going to be, you know, mind blowing. OK, to 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 be in a city of gold. OK, to be able to fly, to be able to levitate, to do be to be able to uh, bend gravity. I was watching, uh, you know, uh, a podcast. And uh, basically they were going into the UFOs. And how there's a uh, a lot of a lot more UFO sightings, and it was a podcast with Joe Rogan, and you know Esau pretty much discovered a uh, a element, a element that he tried to say that the chariots are using, but basically this element it actually bends gravity, so instead of a uh, you know jet propulsion or engine. Where you use fuel, the, the, the chariots, which we, we don't know exactly, but it makes sense. You know, the chariots actually can bend gravity so they can zip from, you know, in and out of universes, in and, in and out of, uh, you know, portals. They can they can, you know, go dive to the, the depths of the sea and then go into the atmosphere in less than a second. OK. And we're going to get that technology. OK, the Lord, he's going to show us all these things and that, and we're going to be elevated above all nations. Well, the, the Lord said that we were a special people. OK, and to him, I mean, I'll, I'll bring that out because our people fail to realize that we're we're special. We're separate. We're holy. That's why the scriptures say, uh, you know, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. OK, the earth. It's literally polluted, okay, as well as most importantly, okay, because physically the earth is polluted, but spiritually the earth is polluted on a, at an all time high. Okay, wickedness is at an all time high, just like during the time of Noah, wickedness was at an all time high and it grieved the most high to make man. And what did he just what did he do? He destroyed the earth. 
he destroyed when i when i say he destroyed the earth meaning he destroyed the people okay of the earth and changed the uh the earth and how how it was laid out okay he only saved you know noah his three sons and their wives eight people okay in the ark i'm back in uh second corinthians four and four who is the image of the most high should sh let me just continue let me just start at the top again actually you know in whom the god of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not so esau edom through his witchcraft through his sorcery okay he has blinded the minds of, uh, uh, of them who believe not our people least the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, which we preach okay and people say that this is uh you know what we say is inflammatory what we say is hate no we're not we're speaking the truth who is the image of the most high here it is we receive nothing but hate literally the israelites we receive nothing but hate okay this very society is built off the backs of our people and is built against us okay Th those are the curses should shine unto them now they're not going to receive this because it was prophesied that there had to be a certain uh, a number namely two-thirds of the nation of israel who are not going to believe this gospel that we preach okay they were they weren't going to believe it give me a second i'm actually you know i've called a couple of scriptures but i'm gonna just just roll off the spirit and if we get those scriptures then it's it's it's, it's good but i'm gonna go to isaiah because I've been uh, thinking about the scripture all all day. It's twelve. It's twelve a.m. You know, I, I just decided just to turn on the recorder and see wherever the spirit lead me. But I've been thinking about the scripture, going into the scripture all day. Because Jake, uh, you 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 Israelites, you don't quite understand what's going on. You have no clue, and all these signs are are laid out in front of you. And then when you when you consider that how our people are asleep, you have to consider the scripture. You have to consider the the, the power that's doing this, okay? Okay? And also you have to be grateful that your eyes, your ears are open. This is Isaiah six and nine, and he said, Go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Okay. Make the heart of this people fat and their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Okay. That's a that's a heavy scripture. When you want to know why, uh, you know, Jake just can't get it. No, no matter how, you know, uh, how much proof evidence that's placed upon, you know, placed in front of them, which this thing is about faith. Yet, you know. Excuse me. Yet, you know, we're we're at the end. You know, these things are, are playing upon tables now. But you have to be a special spirit. OK. To even believe this, to believe what we're speaking, which really this is the only thing that makes sense. OK, and the Lord, he put that spirit inside of us to be able to uh, understand that. OK, so, you know, we, we are the hopeful elect, which we, we are, we're able to hear what are what are our ears. We're able to see what our eyes and we're able to convert and be healed. OK, convert. To do what? What does convert mean? Okay, let me look at this word convert in a blue letter. Okay. Convert from being in the world to being, you know, uh, you know, following Yahweh Shema Shai, which that's what was set up from the beginning. Okay, was to follow Yahweh Shema Shai and we fell off. And, and that was prophecy. Okay. 
That was prophecy. Remember, we're we're speaking about prophecies here. <laughs> and and then and no and the world doesn't want to understand. The world doesn't re, uh, you know believe the prophecies. The, the Christian church. Oh, that's heavy. That's heavy. This is uh. This is uh the word convert is uh. Shah. Shawab Shawab, in the Hebrew, it says to to return. Now there's a scripture. Yeah, it's in it's it gotta be in a book uh, of Baruch. It gotta be in a book of Baruch. Yeah, that's heavy. The word convert means to return. And I'm gonna read the rest of the definitions. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this 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 uh this verse here in Baruch. Alright. You know, it all lines up, precept upon precept. So that word sharab to return, turn back. To turn back. Come back or go back. I'm just seeing if there's any more. I mean, this is a whole bunch of definition. It pretty much says the same thing. Okay. To bring back to mind. See that? Because we were once Gentiles. Okay. We were once Gentiles, but now once this word hit, hit, hit us, we what did we do? We returned. We uh we uh turned back, okay, to Yah Bashamal Shai. And our feet our people, I mean there's so many def there's so many definitions in here. Our people they uh you know they turned away. Okay, they they they're continually turning away from Yah Bashamal Shai. So this word Shawab means to turn to to return. So we're returning back to our power okay and this is how we're going to receive that that uh exemption from judgment by turning back by converting okay converting back into being the children of the most high okay the israelites okay being born again okay that the first step you have to consider yourself an israelite and then you have to start following the law statute commandments all the precepts that are written in the scriptures, I'm a, uh, I'm in Baruch four and and twenty six. My delicate ones, who are the delicate ones of the Israelites? Okay, we are the delicate ones. Okay, that's how Yah Bashemashai he looks at us. Okay, uh, what is that? Jeremiah the sixth chapter. Let me bring that out. He he likens us unto a calmly and delicate woman. Okay. So we are the delicate ones. This is a uh, lot like Satan just turned. One moment, let me just get it again. Where is that at? One moment. I believe that that should be in Jeremiah 6. I'm going to get it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just going to search it. Okay, it is right there. Jeremiah 6 and it should be Jeremiah 6 and 2. 
I was looking at uh, 22. Jeremiah 6 and 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a calmly and delicate woman. See? So let me go back to Baruch. Sorry for the delay. Baruch 4 and 26. My delicate ones. Okay? See that? So where the Israel the Israelites are the delicate ones have gone rough ways, meaning we turned away from the Lord and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemy. And that was the judgment of us turn away from our power. OK, we were caught of the enemy. OK, the transatlantic slave trade, crystal ball, cologne and all the different conquistadors and all the different, you know, uh, Calvary. And uh, eat of my nations that took us down. Be of be of good comfort. OK, and the good news. OK, because what uh, the scriptures say. Um, you know what? Let me bring this. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Let me bring this out. Scripture speak about a, a good a good word. Um, this is wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, this this a couple of different uh, scriptures I can go into, but this is Proverbs seventeen and twenty two. A merry heart do of good like a medicine. See, so this word, let me go back. Be of good comfort because this good word. I'm gonna bring out the other scripture. Let me finish this. A merry heart do of good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dry up the bones. And you can see our people spirits are totally. Uh, uh, broken. They have no clue who they are. Okay. Let me bring out another scripture about the good word. Okay. Proverbs 12 and 25. Heaviness in the heart of a man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. See that? A good word maketh it glad. So that this, this, these good tidings. Make of the heart, uh, make if you know, uh, you know, the continents glad and in a glad continents do of good like a medicine. So, this is how we are alive through this word. This word is our medicine, which is Yahweh Shai, the, the, the physician, he's healing us with that conversion comes healing of the, of the soul. Okay, you're not, you're not going to be healed physically. Okay, which that 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 is going to happen. Okay, you are going to have, uh, you are going to have uh, uh, men with spiritual power that are going to heal in these last days, just like the the, the apostles did uh, during during uh, you know the time of Yahusha, the disciples. Okay, so we are to be of good comfort because we know that the end of all things are 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 is suddenly uh, at the door. OK, where we're going to have pleasure, we're going to have true rest, true comfort, true joy. OK, be a good comfort. I'm back in Baruch. Oh, my children. So we are, we are the true children of Yah, Bashem, the children of God, not the other nation, not Esau. This dude is a complete demon. OK, he's he's wreaking all type of havoc in the earth. You think he you think he's the child of God? You think the most High is with him? Oh, my children, and cry unto the Most High. In, in these epistles, you know, even our, our spirit itself is crying unto Yah Bashma Shai. Okay? For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. So the Lord is the one who brought these things upon us, and he is remembering us now. Okay? That's why he's not going to leave us comfortless. He, is, he was going to give us that comforter. Which is the which is the Holy Spirit, okay? Which the Holy Spirit which which fuels us to be able to do these lessons, which fuels us to be able to keep going while these people are fainting. For 
for as it was your mind to go astray from the most high. Yeah, we we uh, we have these decrepit bodies. OK, we turned away from the most high. See, so we went astray. So being returned, just like we just uh, looked at that word convert. OK. Shawab. So in, in the definition was return. And now the whole world, you know, uh, they're they're angry at us for returning back to our power for for doing for for doing the right thing. You know, they're looking at us as evil. OK, for not committing adultery. OK, for not stealing. OK, from not for not eating pork. All right. They're 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 mad about that. They're literally the world is literally mad that we are separating ourselves from them. OK, they're upset about that. And they're and they're demonizing us for that. OK, for returning to our power and and, and, and doing righteous acts. Ain't that some shit? Uh, it says so being returned, so converting. Seek him 10 times more. And this is how we do. We seek the Lord with all our heart, with all our might. OK, and, and we won't come short. Uh, nevertheless, we're going to continue. If it be the if it be the Lord's will, uh, you know, we continue to seek him with all our heart and all our mind. OK, because this is the only comfort that we have, really. If you if you think about it. Okay, is this word. So this word, these glad tidings, they give us a cheerful countenance. Which that that will uh, there's another scripture. It talks about the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmities. Let me bring that out. Proverbs 18 and 14, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmities because we're sick. OK, we're literally sick. We're literally dying. Our, these bodies are dying every single day. Though my out, outward man, our man uh, uh, perish, the inward man is renewed day by day, which the outward man is also speaking about the man of the, the old world that we that we came out of. OK, thinking as, you know, the people of this world think doing as the things that this the people of, of this world do, which which that, you know, that has a negative effect on your spirit as well as the physical body. OK, destroys the physical body, drinking without moderation, eating without moderation. OK, uh, uh, un, unsustainable sexual appetite. OK, really just being unbalanced in, in every form and fashion and and pretty much, you know, doing as you please. OK. Which is nothing but Satanism. OK, but the Lord, uh, as we converted the Lord, he gave us a new spirit. OK. Uh, a, a righteous spirit. OK. To continue in the faith, to endure all things. But a wounded spirit who can bear. And you, you're going to see our people with those wounded spirits. They're not going to even be able to bear in these last days. But the spirit of a man, a righteous man, you know, they're, they're, we're able to uh, sustain. Let's, 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 look, let's look at this word, sustain. This is, the Holy Spirit is literally what's keeping us alive. Okay. The Holy Spirit is literally keeping us from dying. Kawal in the Hebrew to seize, contain, measure, to measure, to stain, to support, to nourish. See that? The spirit of Yahweh Shemashai is nourishing us. Well, what did Yahweh Shai tell Satan when Satan uh, came at him? He said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. If I'm if I'm pronouncing that or I'm quoting that correctly. OK, you can read that in Matthew four and four. Let's, you know, let's go to it. Let's actually go to it. Matthew 
Matthew 4 and 4. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out, out of the mouth of the most high. OK, so that was right. All right. So this the spirit it was sustains us and nourishes us, uh, it says support, it supports us. OK, even though our bodies are dying. OK, the air the, we're breathing in toxic air, you got mold in your house. It's making you sick. The water that you wash the vegetables off with and your fruit off with has chemicals. That Esau eat them as put in it. OK, there's things in the air. OK, like I said, the water. He's spraying things in the food. He, he genetically modified the food. He spliced. Animal genes. OK, with with uh, vegetable genes and fruit genes. OK, crops. This dude is truly the devil. OK, and he and he's damn near out of there. OK, the Lord is going to take this man out. He is not going to accomplish his new war order. OK, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. OK, he's he's going he's going to have a hard he's going to have a hell of a time trying to implement this. OK, because it's because it's bullshit. OK, it doesn't even make sense. It's really it, it's it's the Lord set him up. OK, the Lord set his ass up. OK. He's he's a loser in, in it all. Okay, I was watching a video earlier on transhumanism and it was a TED talk from six years ago. I mean, it was totally bugged out. OK, the things that this man thinks he's going to uh, accomplish, which a lot of those things that this guy was speaking about, that technology was all already being developed. OK, you have a lot of, uh, of this technology. OK, these miracles that this this damn devil's going to show in these last days. OK, well, it says that. um if, if, if it all be possible that they should uh, deceive the very elect. So that's how you know, far the Lord is allowing this man to go. But he's not going to allow him to go truly that far. OK. It says to support, to endure. So the spirit, our spirit that the Lord gave us, gives us, it allows us to endure. It says to hold on. To hold, to contain, see. Well, the scriptures talk about hold that fast. OK, uh, uh, you know, holding fast this truth, this uh, faith of your of ours. OK, talks about being. Excuse me. It talks about, uh, you know, letting no man steal thy crown. OK. So I'm pretty much done on that. I mean, we can go into more scriptures, but it's it's getting kind of late and I'm yawning and stuff like that. You know, I pretty much believe I hit the point. You know, if more needs to come out, uh, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai willing, you know, the Lord put the spirit on me to come back and uh, do more lessons. All right. We're at the end of the days, which really this is the only thing that we find pleasure in. OK, if, uh, when we do these videos, it's almost. It's not almost. It's a spirit that just comes upon us. OK. And a lot of times pain comes out of your body. You know, you get clear minded, you know, and that's the spirit uh, working within us to fulfill the will. And then, you know, we go back to our regular life <laughs> and it's just nothing but pure hell. But that's just what it is. OK. Uh, Acts 14 and 22. OK. You should read that. OK. So, you know. You know, without, you know, saying too much, shalom to the elect, death to the, death to the wicked.